This is all about what you guys want to build for Telangana. It is important that you stay current with respect to AI. It doesn't matter what stack you're passionate about or what you're exactly doing. You have to do your research right. You have to know what is the gap in the market. And that is the gap today which can turn into a billion dollar idea. This is all about what you guys want to build for Telangana. So we have done great projects with Telangana government. Today what I wanted to kind of discuss with you guys was uh, to help you understand agentic AI. So you're all getting trained as part of your curriculum, whatever the curriculum you're going through. But it is important that you stay current with respect to AI. It doesn't matter what stack you're passionate about or what you're exactly doing. But I think it is very, very important that you know what is happening in the world of AI. So agentic AI is something which is little beyond that. Okay, now that's something which is very, um, uh, the need of the hour, I would say, because there's a lot of maturity in terms of what systems we have and what development has been happening around in terms of how we kind of roll out different platforms which are needed for, not just for the enterprises, but the common end users like you and me. But with agentic AI, what happens is, what is changing is something you have to understand. It is more autonomous in terms of how it will work. It is like a digital co-worker for you. So today when two people are working together, you just tell the other person what has to be done, right? And he will carry on his task. So that's exactly what is gonna happen with machines. So now your agentic AI is gonna work with you, next to you, and it will understand what you're doing and it knows what it has to do as part of its particularly uh, defined role and responsibility. I would suggest that if you want to do interesting stuff, okay, your regular tech stack is all fine, but it's so important that you look at how systems work with intelligence. That is very, very important in terms of what you can kind of build, what you can kind of deliver to large scale masses. When I say large scale masses, we, the people of Telangana. Building traditional systems is absolutely okay, no doubt about it. They are here to stay. But adding an AI element will make that particular innovation more robust, more sophisticated in terms of what the output will be. So I think uh, uh, that's, that's something which I would um, request everyone to kind of put your brains into and see how you can leverage your existing stack to be upgraded into an AI kind of nurtured stack. Now, I wanted to touch upon three areas with respect to what you can do, especially on the agentic side for Telangana as a state. The innovation is something which you are all targeting. So one is the governance, the government segments, which we kind of have touched upon, then the healthcare side of it, and then obviously the rural development side of it. Okay. These are three areas where there is huge amount of gap where creative brains like you should think through what creative solutions can be built. If you guys can start thinking, that is what makes a difference for the people who are generally suffering because of lack of those creative solutions. Getting into a government institute for some or other work and getting it done it is a big challenge because everything is dependent on people. You have to go, you have to talk from the lift operator till somebody who's signing off that document. It is totally controlled by people. There's no autonomous way to get things done. So those are the areas where you, you should automate things. You should bring your creativity in terms of building systems. Second one is a very large scale system, which is healthcare. Today, if you look at we are blessed to get access to right healthcare because your parents might have some or other job where, where they have covered themselves with insurance. You're also covered with corporate insurance. But do you know how many uh, the other people, the regular people who are there out don't have access to health insurance in Telangana? It is not about a government scheme rolling out or it is not about some Aishman Bharat giving some opportunity there. That's a blessing in disguise that governments have taken certain initiatives to bring in these schemes for everybody out there. But there are a lot of gaps in terms of healthcare beyond 
insurance and uh, i think i think every individual requires basic to fundamental right in terms of how they can be treated how they can be handled so there are a lot of areas where you can do fantastic work for healthcare improvement that is the second area third area is rural development agriculture somebody said agriculture somebody said rural development in rural development again if you kind of do a deep dive most of us have come from the rural roots the real suffering which is there in the rural segments can always be addressed with your creative solutions i think i'll be more interested to see what are the areas you have covered in these three segments beyond that also i'll be obviously interested when you are doing certain stuff for enterprises so building solutions for enterprises is way more easier because they are very clear use cases defined use cases but when you are building solutions for masses for people like us it is very difficult for you to understand what to build so that is where you have to do good amount of homework you have to do your research right you have to know what is the gap in the market and that is the gap today which can turn into a billion dollar idea creative thinking is good but thinking in a differentiated fashion which can kind of clubbed with this creativity will bring in a lot of synergy into the systems so i am today excited to be here i'm interested in seeing what you guys have built i'm also looking forward to see if my interaction really goes well i would definitely want to offer multiple internships in my organization which would be paid in terms of what you bring on board if you are gearing up for such opportunities so please show me your work and i would love to experience that based on which we will kind of move forward discuss interesting things we are an investment firm as well so we do investments uh, in startups obviously ai and non ai at the same time i have multiple organizations which work on ai as well as non ai in the fields of communication in the fields of uh, teleco in the fields of healthcare so if i see that there is a right fitment into what you guys have done i would love to expand that idea work with you guys on board you guys and see how we can kind of build something together build for telangana build for the country and build for yourself okay i am looking for that opportunity guys okay thank you so much